Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's time to learn how to securely clear cache on your iPhone or iPad. So if your iPhone storage is running low or the device feels incredibly sluggish, then clearing the cache will help you recover some precious space and also speed up the device. For those unfamiliar, cache data includes all the files and images that are kept in your device memory. Cache data helps apps avoid having to request the same data repeatedly. As a result, they are able to provide a personalized experience. But then again, if you fail to take control of the cache files, it doesn't take long to clutter your device as well. That said, let's get started. First off, I would recommend you to force restart your iPhone. Believe me, force restarting can help you clear the cache on your iPhone or iPad. Therefore, I would recommend you to give it a go whenever the need arrives. To do so, you just have to press and release the volume up button. Then you have to press and quickly release the volume down button. And then you have to hold down the side button, aka the power button, until you see the Apple logo on the screen. And then I will recommend you to clear Safari browsing history and the website data. Both iOS and iPadOS offer a pretty neat way to clear the Safari history and the website data on iPhone and iPad, although the autofill information remains unchanged. It's worth pointing out that when you clear Safari browsing history, the same logs are cleared on any other devices that are signed into the same iCloud account. Therefore, make sure to keep this important thing in your mind. To get going, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. And then you have to scroll down and choose the apps option. And then you have to head over to the history and the website data section and tap on clear history and website data. And then you have to select the preferred time frame. And after that, you have to choose a profile to clear from or select all profiles option. And finally, you have to tap on clear history to confirm the action. And that's about it. And now it's time to learn how to clear iPhone cache for third-party apps. Note that the process of clearing the cache used by third-party apps on your iPhone or iPad varies from one app to another. So you'll have to dive into the individual settings of each app and check whether or not it offers a built-in way to remove the cache. However, if there is an app that you suspect is unnecessarily taking up a lot of data on your device but you can't find a way to clear its cache, then the best way to go about it is to check the device storage before going for the kill. To do so, you just have to launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. And then select the general option. And after that, select iPhone or iPad storage. Now a list of all the apps including the stock apps on your device will load in order of size with the largest apps listed first. Then you have to tap on a specific app in the list that is taking up an unnecessary amount of space. And now you have two uninstalled options to choose from. Offload app. It allows you to offload an app from your device but preserve any related documents and data. The related data of the apps are reinstated if you later reinstall the apps. Delete app. It allows you to completely remove an app along with all the related data from your device. Now select the preferred option and you are all set. So these are the neat ways to clear cache on iPhone and iPad. Now that you have unlocked these neat methods, make the most of them as and when the need arrives to keep the clutter at a fair distance. And I'll catch you up in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.